All right. Let's do another live. It's time for another live, you guys. This is Jose Trujillo, the whale's greatest living artist. And it's time for Uno Mas Live. Uno Mas Live. All right. Look at that. B E A beautiful. Very nice. How's it going? How's it going, beautiful people of the Grams? This is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist, doing his doing his thing again. Let's see how this let's see how this little landscape comes out. Look at that. 
Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to start waving at people. You guys let me know what it feels like to be waved by the world's greatest living artist. I've heard there's uh, magical powers I can, I can infuse on people. You might, be, you, might, you might start walking a little taller after I, I wave at you. <laughs> you might start walking on water for all I know. I just got to do some waves. Ooh la la. One with that brush. Feels awesome to be waved that I love that. <laughs> Infuse me. <laughs> oh, I love that. I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start waving at people just to so I can share some of my power. Rule number one, fall in love with your with your process, not your paintings. I think I think when I when I started learning about this, it, it was a game changer. I didn't realize it after a while, but but, uh, but it was a game changer. Looking back, right? Looking back is when you can connect the dots. When I when I realized that the process was much more important than any individual painting, meaning the collective, right? The collective of the work. Um, everything just started making more sense. And uh, the, co the collective has power because it's, it's the numbers, right? It's the number, there's power in numbers, always power in numbers. Um, so I'll give, you a, I'll give you an example for those of you who might be thinking like, what the hell is this guy talking about? So let's say you're in sales, no? Let's say you're you're in sales and I don't know, you, you have to pick up the phone or go knock on a door of a business or a house or whatever and you're you're selling something, some sort of widget or food or a service, something. Um it doesn't matter how good you get at selling. It doesn't matter how good you get at it. Ultimately, what matters more is that is that you keep knocking on doors it doesn't really matter how good you are you you could be an amazing salesperson but if you knock on a door you know and no one comes out who are you going to sell to or if you don't knock on enough doors 
I mean, someone's 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 bound to say no. No matter how good of a salesperson you are, someone's gonna say no. Most people will probably say no, even if you're an amazing salesperson, even if you have a great product. Most people will say no for whatever reason, right? Their budget's not there. Their mind is not there. Uh, wrong timing. Someone, some something in the family is happening. Whatever, all kinds of things. You name it. And I started learning that about, about painting. It's the process that matters. Why? Because as a salesperson who goes and knocks on a door or has to pick up the phone and make a few phone calls, whatever that few phone calls are, um, what matters at the end is, did you make the phone calls? Did you knock on the doors? Because the collective of that is what gives you the sale. It's not... It's not any one interaction. It's the collective. It's, if you, I don't know, if you pick up the phone and call a hundred different people, um, you're gonna find yourself somewhere in there. You know, either a, a follow-up that you're doing or, or a cold call that you're doing or whatever, you're gonna find yourself in there. It's the same with the, same, same exact thing with a painting. No one painting is gonna make you or break you and so if, if no one painting is going to make you or break you, then what's left is that you need to continue painting. It's the only thing left. You need to continue creating, creating artwork. And for, for, some people, for some people, it's not about one painting or many. Um, for some people, it, it might just be the time that you spent on the work. You know, it's the time. You might, spend a, you might spend a few hours or a few days on a painting. What ends up matter, what, what, what matters the most is how many hours did you put, right? How many hours? If you, make, if you make many paintings, well, how many paintings did you do? Did you actually do them? Um, and on and on and on. What ends up most important, to be most important in, in, in your career is the consistency of the process. Are, are you consistent in the process? That's the only thing. Everything else is belts and whistles. In other words, no matter how good you are at, I don't know, doing push-ups, you could be doing push-ups so great with one hand, another hand behind your back. It, it doesn't matter how great you get at doing push-ups. What matters is how many push-ups are you doing? And are you consistent with that number, day in and day out? And unless you learn how to fall in love with the process, there's always going to be this 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 BS up and down. This I love painting, I hate painting. I love painting, I hate painting. Why? Because we because we we break it, we break it down, we fragment it into I did a good painting today, or I did a bad painting today, or today was a good painting day. You know, today or today was not a good painting day. And we keep fragmenting it. That's, to me, that's the wrong vision. That's, that's, it's the wrong lens. The right lens is what happened as a collective? What happened as a whole? So I measure my, I measure my progress quarterly in 90 days. Dude, Sonic, you're messing up my, 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 uh, my mojo, dude. What the hell? dog man I swear it starts making my mojo and so so that's that dude thanks for ruining my mojo Sonic I was just getting into it right now look at that love purple mountains well thank you here you go I'm I'm waving Just might get a yes. Yeah, just might get a yes. Hey, Danielito. Hi. How are you? Cool, cool. Where is that?
And so it's all ultimately is the process. What's the process? Are you doing are you doing it or are you not doing it? Look at that. I put a sky on that. Mom, this doesn't stand. A little sky in here. Look at that. Oh la la. Look at that. Dude, I've killed so many mosquitoes by just like doing some of that, uh, some of that Karate Kid stuff. Some of that Mr. Miyagi stuff. Look at him. This mosquito right here. They're not bothering me though, because I have that I sprayed some of that off stuff on my arms, on me. And so they're like they're like I don't want to mess with you, world's greatest living artist. I want nothing to do with you and stuff. Look at that. Dude, that's it right there. Oh la la, come si, come sa. Get a little bit more of that blue. Dude, mosquitoes move super fast too. Not as fast as me. Did I tell you I was gonna kill that bastard? Look at him. Got him. Stinking mosquito. Thought it was gonna beat me. I move faster. I got some crazy, some crazy reflex. Some people are like, did he just kill a mosquito? I did. Hey, kill or be killed, or be taking some blood off, off of you, whatever, whatever the hell they do. Look at that. I'm a cold, a cold mosquito killer. There it is. I think this is. I think this is it. That's the. All right. All right, my friends. I gotta go check. I gotta go check uh, our car because uh, one of the tires, I think, is is low. Uh, uh, 
pressure is low or something. I, I took it earlier, but apparently the, there's a uh, the light signal. I mean, the tire signal keeps popping up. So it, it could be it could be a, another tire. Who knows? I gotta go check that right now. And uh, look at that. Ooh la la. Don't forget to sign. I'll try not to. I, I'm always forgetting now. I feel like I'm, I'm becoming a, I'm, I'm becoming super forgetful. Look at that. I'm going to uh, I'm going to finish this now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be back. I promise you guys, I'm gonna be back after I I check that that tire thing because I don't I don't want my wife driving with the car like that. And stuff. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Stay well and sophisticated. Isn't it nice? It's really nice, huh? I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Thank you so much. Peace out.